Hi everyone! Welcome to the first episode of One Minute Games. Today we will make a simple snake. First, let's create the graphics for the game. For the floor, create a new cube and scale it to 20 units in X and Z, then move it down slightly. For the head, create another cube and add two smaller cubes representing it down. Put all three on a new empty object and call it snake. And lastly, create a smaller cube for the body and make it into a prefab. Delete it from the scene for now. Let's create a script that will control the snake. In the first step, we'll make the snake move forward. Moving snake is as simple as increasing the position in the direction the snake is looking. We multiply the direction by a new public variable so we can control the speed, and at the end we multiply it by the delta time to take frame drops into account. Run the game and test. As we can see, the snake moves forward in any direction it is rotated. In step 2, we will take care of steering. Let's get the steer direction from the keyboard. We get minus 1 when the left arrow key is pressed, plus 1 for the right key and 0 otherwise. Rotate snake around the up axis in the direction we just got. Multiply the direction by a new public steer speed variable. Don't forget about the delta time. When we test the game, the snake moves forward as before and we can now change the direction with the left and right arrow keys. In step 3 we'll add body parts. Create a public variable to get access to the body graphics prefab we made at the beginning. We'll create a new function that will grow the snake by one body part when called. The instantiate function inside will make a new copy of any game object we want, the body in our case. Let's add it to a new list for later use. Call the grow function at the start and save the script. For testing the game, let's drag and drop the body prefab into the new slot in the inspector. Now there should be a new copy of body graphics at the zero position, but it doesn't move just yet. Let's take care of that in step 4. To move body parts on a trail the head has traveled, we need to store all of its positions. On each frame, add the head's position to the beginning of the list. We then loop through each body part on the list and place it to a previous head position. Starting from the head, each next body part goes to a position further behind. Create a new variable gap to control how many positions to skip and adjust the spacing between the body parts. If the index is greater than the count of all positions stored, take the oldest existing position instead. Call the grow function a few more times at the start and run the game. Body parts now follow the snake, but they are not rotating and they are not moving smoothly. Let's fix that next. Instead of placing body parts directly to a position, let's move it slowly in that direction. To get a direction vector from point A to point B, we just subtract one from the other, target point minus the source point. Increase the position of a body in the direction we get and multiply it by a new public variable body speed and the delta time. To rotate the body, simply make it look towards the position it is following. Run the game and test the final version. And that's it, we are done. Good job! Play around and think about how you can make it even better. To make it more fun, add goals, challenges and rewards. Here are some other ideas for improvements. Update graphics and add decorations. Add food that makes the snake longer. Implement obstacles and tail collision. You can even turn the snake into something else like a row of ducks. Share your creation with friends and our community. Post it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag OMG Games Community. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something new or got inspired, like and subscribe. 
and if you really love that, check out Patreon to see what else you might find there. Thank you and see you in the next video.